from our new CBS News election night headquarters in Times Square with eight days to go, the final push by both candidates who are campaigning today in Pennsylvania. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Reporting tonight from CBS News Election Headquarters in Times Square. Good evening and thank you for joining us at our new election headquarters. We are going to begin with the final sprint to the White House, which tonight runs straight through Pennsylvania, which is eight days. Focus this week on the economy, the top concern of Republican voters. And he'll be visiting the most Republican parts of those key battleground states in order to shore up support, Nora. All right, Ed O'Keefe, thank you. The surge in COVID cases here in the U.S. and overseas sent stocks tumbling today. New cases averaged 68,000. Audience of several hundred people, though we're told the seats will be spaced a little further apart than they were a few weeks ago when a similar ceremony for Judge Barrett became a super spreader event. So another big event tonight? That's right. Nancy Cordes, thank you. Tonight, we thought we'd give you a quick tour of our new home for the next two weeks. Our CBS News Election Night headquarters will have an all-star team at the desk, the latest exit polls, and I want to show you this. This is where the magic happens. It is our decision desk. Where for the first time, we will have more data at our fingertips than ever before with our director, Anthony Salvanto. All of that when the polls close, something you'll find only here at CBS News. And just a reminder, if you can't watch us live, don't forget to set your DVR so that you can watch us later. That is tonight's edition of the CBS Evening News. I'm Nora O'Donnell at our CBS News election night headquarters in New York. It's pretty awesome, right? See you back here tomorrow. Good night.